lunch and she leaves. So she said, tell her she's been busted. And uh, that's what I did. All right, push this away. Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Irene Burkett, please. That's me. Hi, Irene. This is Leslie from Air Hi, Leslie. Hi. Um, I'm calling you because we're having a little problem with you. What kind of problem? Well, you've been coming in every single day, sampling the food and not buying anything. Well, I mean, uh, if it was better food, I might buy it. You you haven't liked anything? Well, yeah, I mean, i got to be honest with you. Your chef needs to improve Okay, but every day it's a different chef. Like, for example, on the 26th, you came in and you sampled the cheese puffs. On the 28th, the pigs in a blanket and the small quiche were sampled the next day. And oh, we have... wait a second. How, how do you even know that it was me? And how do you get my telephone number? Okay, first of all, we have you on surveillance, okay? And second of all, you entered the win six months supply of Swedish meatballs contest. And of... Yeah, and so I got your information from that. And you consider taking the sample, that's stealing. Yeah. And you, you've got the cameras focused on that, but when people are actually stealing things and they're putting things in their pants and they're actually shoplifting, that you don't consider stealing. What's the difference? You shove the cheese puff in your mouth, what's the difference between shoving it in your pants and your mouth? There's no difference to me. What's the size of those little pieces of cheese? The way they cut up so small, nobody could eat. That's not a meal for anybody. Can you not afford to have lunch somewhere else if you have to come in and have lunch on us every day? That's not a lunch. That's not a food lunch. You can't feed anybody on that. I would like you to come in and maybe while you're buying your toilet paper, buying your cat food, your denture cream, maybe while you're doing that, you have a little pig in a blanket every now and then. But not every day come in my store, stuff a quiche down your throat, and then walk out and don't buy anything. You're a thief. How dare you talk to me that way? Is that the way you talk to your own grandmother? You're not my grandmother. Well, you should be ashamed of yourself. I think it's hysterical how you old people try to use, I'm old, I don't remember stucking that radish in my pocket. I don't remember taking a pig in the blanket and eating it. I mean, please, the, the old thing only goes that so far. That's exactly what I'm telling you. I'm not old. I know, but I know where, where, which store you're calling from. And, I, and if, if, if I ever see you, I'll, I'll, you'll remember me for sure. <laughs> what are you going to do if you see me? You're serious, right? What are you going to well, do? Why would I be serious? Well, you're like 106. What are you going to do? Do. Wait till you're at the, the end of a shopping cart knocking you down, huh? You wait till you're my age, girly. Because I'm super too old. I'm still young enough to show you how good I can move you, bitch. Don't you ever call this number again, I'll report you. Oh my gosh, she hung up. <laughs> All right, we're going to call her back. We're going to call her back now. We're going to mess with her some more. Here we go. Hello? I think we got disconnected. You called me again, I told you not to call me. Okay, and so I told you not to eat samples from my uh, store, and you don't listen to me, so I'm not going to listen to you. Maybe they're free samples. Have you ever paid for a free sample? But a sample is one. You're taking more than have one. Have you ever paid for a free sample? No, I have not paid for a free sample, but it doesn't so matter. are you expecting me to pay for a free sample? Are you like a squirrel? You stuck it up in your cheeks? What the hell? You put your good there from the minute the store opens the minute it closes. Does it know, matter? Every single customer that comes in. No, but you I know. You got such a personal touch. I see how good your personal touch is that you're calling up people and telling them that they're thieves when you put out a big sign that says free, free samples. I'm game. Have you ever paid? Have you? I just told you no, okay? But so I have to real the hey. If your boss knew, I'm sure that you're you're not the one holding the store. You're just some be honest one in the place. Whatever, right? I but am the manager. If your boss knew that you're alienating a 20 year customer and knows other people in the neighborhood, he would fire you in a minute. Okay, please. You don't understand the concept of loyalty. I'm surprised when I have a business. Are loyal to you, and you're supposed to be loyal to the customers. It's not a one way street. Just the customers are supposed to be loyal to you, and you can treat them any way that you want. You know what? With you don't know what you're doing uh, you should you should be fired you should be the one that should be getting a call from your boss like this telling you that you've made a big mistake and that you shouldn't ever talk to any of the customers this way again with all the that you eat i'm surprised we're not out of business already exactly that's the stuff that you got it you should be happy that i eat that because if it's so good it wouldn't have to be a free sample yeah if it was the good stuff it would be crying off the shelves people would be word of mouth I how mean, long you've been working there you've probably been there what like a, a week and you think you know everything I mean. young people you think you know everything I after a week you know everything and the old people know nothing I mean. and so you got your way and my your mother. rules and how you're gonna run things hey this is just a phone tap my name's Danielle Manaro from Elvis Duran in the morning show and your granddaughter Tracy is playing a joke on you what Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy. <laughs>
Oh, what are you doing, Tracy? Oh, You're trying to give me a heart attack here. I'm here. I'm, it's Tracy, this is the way you treat your grandma. I've been treating you oh, so good. And you get these people calling me up and getting me all upset. Call me Mr. Rand, so sad.